Good day all, welcome to Obed Farm. Um, today, I think this is the very most exciting thing that I'm about to share. Please understand this is not a paid advert, but it's something that people also want to know and people have been asking me how best to do their marketing and everything that they need to do. But I think here is an app which is going to be very, very helpful for those people who want to do farming. And this app is known as Kurima Mari. I don't think they've been advertising it that well. But I believe it's one of those apps that they should actually be advertising it very much because what it offers is a lot of things that are very, very important. The first thing you need to do is you need to download it on your app store from the app store. After you've downloaded it from the app store, you then install it onto your computer, um, onto your phone or even onto your, onto your computer. And with this, it gives you quite a lot of information, which I think I should go through as a person who uses it very often. It's got things that are very important and very useful for some time who's starting off with farming. So let's start off with the crop section. In the crop section, you can see there's a whole list of crops that are available that one can, which this actually gives you an understanding about crops. And the crops which we're talking about is all the way, as you can see from ground nuts, carrots, the usual, the maize, the onions, and all the way to round nuts and soya beans. So let's just go to the one that is very common. The most common one is obviously maize. And let's go into maize. And when we go into maize, it tells you the advantages and disadvantages of growing maize and the challenges that one faces. And not only that, it also shows you how to start off well and when you need to plant your maize. And it also goes as far on as telling you um, what populations of the maize, varieties of maize that are available. Obviously, the varieties will change, but... What I do like about this app is that it really focuses on Zimbabwe and the types of maize varieties that are available in Zimbabwe. And not only that, showing you that they are long term, short term, and how much fertilizer that you need, which fertilizers that you need to, to put in so that you can grow your maize, and when you need to apply that fertilizer. It then gives you a budget of how much budget you may need to look at, but obviously as it is, it's also variable depending on your location and how much you will probably get per every hectare. And why I do like this is that it really breaks it down for someone who really wants to farm. And I believe it's very, very good on that basis, whereby it also gives you the breakdown of the costs and how much it's going to cost you and all the information that you will need to, to do your farming. And on top of that, it then gives you about the market, roughly what you will do if you go to market and the costing for the market. So it is very, very diff um, detailed and also gives you an understanding of how to keep your maize and how the important tips when selling your maize and what you should roughly get per ton. And the advantage about this is that it also looks at when the changing, as it is always well updated on the platform. So it also gives you an idea about further information, context. These contexts are for agronomists, podcasts, podcasts that have actually been done before, videos, videos how to do the farming, a library, a library of how way you can actually print off um, your, the information that you would, you would need for farming and the pricing and the trends for, the, for your maize. It also has what is known as a nice little dashboard which you then if you enter it into like you want to grow maize if you're saying that today you're actually planting your maize it will then give you um, a pop out which this is this is the thing that i really like about it it gives you a popper so you say that you want to plant your maize today you're putting that you've planted your maize today why i don't want to do it is because then it then reflects a lot of other information but what you then does is that once you put in that information it then gives you what um, you then put in your information that today I've planted. Once it is planted, it then gives you the calendar about until harvest. So it will give you a ping to like if tomorrow you need to um, to water, it will say tomorrow water. If it says that tomorrow you need to put in this chemical, it will give you as the days progress. That's why I like about this thing. It actually helps you as a person not forget what you need to do when you do the farming. That is for the crops. Then we go for the livestock. On the livestock, as you can see, we've got the beef, the cattle, chickens. This also, all the way up to fish. So it's got quite a few. This one has just got a few of the major basic ones. So what it then goes into, let us go into, let's go into 
for a change let me go all the way into fish farming something that i don't do so it gives you the challenges of and the advantages it's it gives you reading material to actually for you to understand what you need to to do if you want to do fish farming then we go into how to start off well what the ideas of how to do the um, pond types of ponds that you have so it is very detailed and i really like that because it then gives you what you need to know in zimbabwe the kind of breeds of fish that are available and stock density or how to um, how to reap all these rewards from fish farming actually the feeding scheme of fish farming so this does not just apply for the fish it also applies for the other categories that i have not gone into but this is what i just wanted to show you and then how when and how and when to feed the feeding scheme of all this so th this is mainly the pond maintenance how to take care of the pond and the economics of how to fish farming and roughly how much you're going to make out of it so this is also just a guideline. Do not think that it is always going to be cast in stone also about how well you then keep it. But then it's what it is. It gives you quite an advantage of giving you um, a detailed advantage about information that is there. And again, record keeping, how to do your record keeping. And then a small little budget of how what you need to do to get yourself from point A all the way to finish. So... I really like this app because it is very very useful and it is very informative for someone who wants to start off f fishing so know your market and what the types of how you can sell your um, your fish and at what stages that they will be needed and the quantities per kg and all that this is what I really like about this app it is really very very detailed for the for all the project that it touches it is extremely detailed because it really tells you a lot so from then on it also goes on like all the pigs and other animals it really gives you a breakdown for all those programs so then comes here what is known as marketplace marketplace is what i really want people to enjoy because this is one whereby you can add yourself if you go on this on the star here you add yourself and you say what products you have and you will it will get through a form which will then tell you to add your price your volume chain whatever location and your description if you have an image of what you're selling you also then put it in this is very important because it then makes you be visible to those other people who actually use this app and they will be able to call you you wanted some marketing tips here is a good marketing tip that is very very useful for those people who want to start off farming because it is actually very useful because it's giving you a marketplace to go and start off so this place has got a market listing so this is what you are listing then here it then shows you your your list of products that you would have put in and then you'll be able to view it i believe this is a very good marketing thing to use because it also gives you advantage of people who actually use this platform and i'm about to give you more exciting part about it because i think if i look at it there is a part about this marketing tool um where am i i'm getting lost um where it actually gives you this is for posting i think it's in the ahead and i will once we get to it i will then give you more information then we go to the library here is a library where it shows you this is more about you being able to get manuals about crops you can download these manuals and it will give you information about how to grow the thing um, how to grow a product let's just go to the and it just gives you how to farm farming sesame seeds and how to do potato sweet potato um, pep, um, pepper production so you then go there and then you download the um the, the document i just want to show you because this is really very informative so once it's done we then open the document you then open the document using um a, one of your apps and when you're in that apps it then gives you a rundown about how to grow peppers and what you need to do to peppers for you to be able to grow them so these are the real major major advantages of this um, about this app and i really believe this is one of those apps which is very good so 
um, stories and of and then he, there is just so much reading material that is there. People who want to learn, this is an opportunity. Then even into finance, it shows you how to um, saving to invest. And all these, all the in English, Shona on Debele, these are the advantages of this program. It's not just one thing. Then it also having the library extension offices. So this gives you about an, um, it gives you a brief about what is how to, these extension offices, how they, do the planting and what you need to do so it gives you how much fertilizers and chemicals you need when you want to do planting of um of 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 products then i think this that's why i say that i am really impressed with one with this program because i actually use it very much that is the libraries and more then we go to contacts contacts here it gives you quite a bit of information which i need you guys to understand that this is quite important agro dealers this is whereby people who are actually in the business who are doing that kind of farming zimbabwe vegetable market this is where you will be able to go and probably sell your products that you want sold if you do not if you are not getting any traction from that online marketplace you will be able to to go on to the agro dealers and find out where you can go market um, market takers this is um of takers so these are shops which will then you can then go and say that hey i've got this product that i have i'm selling it would you be interested in buying it this is actually a very very good place to 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 go through and it is quite very big and very detailed so that is a very important thing extension service to produce and um, pro providers these are um, your extension officers where you need to go be it extension services for even for abattoirs so i believe this is really a one stop in all for those people who want to do farming but this is why i say that it is so very useful and it gives you marketplaces in and around your place. Like for me, it will be Chegutu. It gives me agro dealers which are listed under Chegutu. But it's just not necessary about Chegutu. It's about wherever you you are. Um, I Then a program that which we need to talk about is the gross margin calculator. On the gross margin calculator, this is the one that is very important for those people who want to start farming. Really, really very important because on this one, it shows you income that you will need, roughly the price, the cost for buying the goats, the veterinary drugs, stock feed, hay, water, labor. So you put in the figures that you need and that you think that you will need and it will automatically calculate for you how much you're going to actually need your expenditure that you're going to do and it also gives you an opportunity to it will also give you a clues what it's talking about in those areas so you actually then list the drugs and everything that you need to put into those areas so this is not only limited to to our goats it is limited it also goes all the way to your ground nuts whereby it shows about the base of fertilizer that you will need pro for one hectare so if i go here and i change it to 11 he to 11 hectares you see how much it then increases the price so this app is really really informative for those people who want to do farming and in this place this one is whereby it gives you you are the one who's now guiding it to giving you more information that you need and that you need for you to help you achieve what you want to do be it growing crops be it animal care be it anything that is on the platform it will then give you an uh, an uh, um, a display of how much it helps you to achieve so you want to achieve uh, 200 kg weight and roughly the price is four dollars or if the price is more expensive you just change the price and then it will then say you're going to spend a thousand dollars and then the expenditures and what is your profit so this is what is so so important and i like about this product because it gives you a place whereby it gives you direction into what you want to do I am so really happy about this ad, um, app. Um, it also gives you an opportunity about the essentials of nutrition. So you can learn about it and you, it is something that if you take time in and you read through, it will be very, very useful to you. So we've got nutrition, finances, 
it gives you how to financial tips and um, saving groups bank products this is all that is very important things like Stuart bank what they are offering for a person who wants to start a small bank cbz and all the other banks which are available so it is very and the nice thing about it is it's always updated this is what i was then saying to you then we go to the weather it then climate it gives you an, an, an understanding about climate change and what the weather is doing a bit of history about how the weather was and the risks and roughly when and when during the periods so it's about you really going through it and reading it for yourself and finding what you really want for it this is the um, calendar that i was talking about that once you start doing this then it says allow once you start using this you then you then register and then you put yourself the information and then it will then give you always updated about what you need to do when you want to farm about it so value chain um kurimamari events so these are the things that we i think this thing is so important and then when you update it it then updates very frequently and once you once you want to get it they are actually updated very often so the nice thing about it that it's not only in english you can put it in english shona on tebele one of the three languages you can then use for those people who uh, want to learn um, who you cannot only are speaking english so i do believe that this is one of those few products which i believe is not being marketed well but i believe is very very useful for a first-time farmer and this is something that i would advise to those people who want to do farming to look into so i think this is the first one of the um, apps that i will want to promote or the one i would like to say to people that it is very useful for me i will go through the other ones that i do have because there are quite a few that i interchange and they've got their pros and cons the only pros and cons is that sometimes the information here is a bit more limited when it comes to diseases and pesticides and um, illnesses of animals it is then a bit more limited but all in all when it comes to an, an an all-round um, product i am very happy to actually recommend it as one of those apps that you can actually use which is useful for those people who are farming in zimbabwe well i hope this is one of those um, one of those videos that is very helpful for all those who have never who have not yet subscribed please subscribe and like to the channel until next time thank you and have a good day